Hi, my name is Helena Kastensson, makeup stylist for Nars Cosmetics. Today I'm going to show you how to use the new dual intensity blusher on Danielle here. The amazing thing with the new dual intensity blusher is that you can use it, it's a wet to dry formula. You can either choose to use it wet for more of a light second skin type of finish, or you can use it dry if you want a little bit more velvety, intense color to the skin. So I have Danielle with me here today, who I'm going to show you how to use the Craving Dual Intensity Blusher Wet. I'm gonna take the darker side, and I'm just gonna feel where Danielle's natural structure of the face lies. So what you want to do, you want to take the, this part right underneath the cheekbone and you want to sweep it from the hairline and downwards. I'm just going to dust a tiny bit, just buff it up into the hairline to create an all over summer bronze. Just sweep a little bit, just on the high points of the nose, so the skin looks a little bit more sun-kissed. I'm now gonna take the lighter side of Craving, which is a beautiful white seashell pink, and this is one of my favorite highlighters, as it just illuminates the entire face. Great for any skin tone as well. So I'm using the brush wet this time, and just on top of the cheekbone, I'm gonna apply this almost like a C shape, just around here. And this is what really creates a beautiful metallic effect that you want for summer. Just gonna add a little bit of highlighter above the eyebrow, on top of the cheekbone, almost like a C shape. Because that will contrast with the warmer color we applied underneath and makes all the features pop and come out a little bit more. I'm just gonna dab a tiny bit with my finger, just above the cupid's bow of the lip to create more of a fuller effect. And a tiny bit just underneath, just to make the lips even look fuller. So, we finished using the first dual intensity blushers. So we have the perfect shimmering contour bronzy color to the skin. To add further dimension, I'm going to use the second color for the skin, which is called Further. We have a really dark, almost like a rosy bronzy tone, as well as a really, really soft peachy pink. I'm gonna use this in a similar way that we used Craving before. I'm gonna use the deeper color, more swept, along and underneath the cheekbone and the lighter peachy color we're going to use as a pop just in the center. So I'm going to take the darker color once again, sweep in from the cheekbone, almost moving in upward movements. So once again, you want the color to really hug the cheekbone and the cheeks. You then want to take the lighter peachy pink color, using it wet, or dry and pop it in the center of the cheek, right on the apple. This will create a really, really soft, pretty, flush pink color on the cheek. So as you can see, we've now finished using the second blusher on top of Danielle's apple of the cheek and swept along the cheekbone. This has added much more dimension and a pop of color to her face. So we now finished the look. We've used two blushers and one brush from the Dual Intensity range. 